Hi everyone, it's Renee. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making some desserts with chocolate, peanut butter and nuts. If you're into those three flavors, you're going to love this. They're kind of cookies, but yeah, they're pretty simple to make. As far as for ingredients, we're going to be needing chocolate. The type of chocolate pretty much depends on the type of chocolate that you like. Peanut butter, then some nuts. Quantity depends on how many chocolate treats you want to go for. So this is how much I made. As far as tools, I'm using a piece of cardboard and a pencil, bits of wax paper or parchment paper. Then I'm using a sandwich bag or Ziploc bag and some scissors, a spoon and a knife. Now the knife is optional if you're going to be using a food processor, you just have, don't have to use a knife. And if you don't own a food processor or if you're like super lazy like me, you can use a knife and cut them as fine as you can. And then one tip that I learned is what you can do is take a roller and just kind of like push all the small pieces and this is going to help you, you know, have the pieces as small as you can get them. So at the end, you're going to have something like this. Once we have the nuts already, we're going to be sketching a circle. And I've never been too like perfect with my circles and this is how I draw them. I first, um, you know, make some lines in there going around the circle and then just gather everything together just to have that circle. And the size of your circle depends on how small or big you want your final uh, tree to be. I'm just going to outline with a, um, you know, marker. This is just because it's going to be easier to just see the line. If it is um, a bit darker, I'm using blue because I like color blue. The circle doesn't have to be perfect at all because it's just going to be for reference. But anyways, once my chocolate is ready and just melted or just tempered, we are just going to start, you know, with the shape. So for that, I'm going to be putting my wax paper on top of my sketch, making extra sure that the smoothest part is on the top. And then with my spoon, I'm just going to drizzle in there, smoothing the whole thing. With a toothpick, I'm using to remove all the air bubbles and just kind of making sure that everything is just, the, the shape is as round as I can get it to be. And then I'm just going to shake it a bit to just make sure like my chocolate is kind of smooth. It doesn't have to be perfect at all, but it's just, you know, resembling a circle there. Then I'm just going to let it dry or set. While I'm doing that, I'm going to be working on my Ziploc bag or just my sandwich bag. And I'm just going to fill it with my peanut butter. This is how much I'm using, as you can see, not that much. But again, if you want more, just go ahead and add more. Then I'm going to make a, a small hole. And once our chocolate is hardened, we're just going to be taking our Ziploc bag already filled with our peanut butter. And we're just going to swirl it. The easiest way that I find is just to lift your hand a bit and just let it go from there just going around in circles it takes practice honestly the first ones that i did were really really bad the more you practice and the better they look so once you have your swirls and everything is ready you're just going to sprinkle some nuts in there and then you're just going to um just remove the excess and there you go you have your swirl and it's like sprinkled with nuts if you don't like nuts, you can always add like almonds or just some chocolate sprinkles. And just in case your swirl was a bit messy, you can always, you know, clean the area using a toothpick and just cleaning those spaces so it looks more like a swirl rather than just a messy, you know, sprinkle of nuts, if that makes any sense. And this is pretty much it for this idea. I wanted to give it a try because I'm honestly addicted to chocolate, peanut butter and nuts so much into that right now and i'm just going to surely have more ideas coming up so thank you so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more stuff and share it if you have any questions or comments just don't forget to leave them below and yeah thank you for watching and i'll talk to you later